Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Joan Vassos helps Kelsey Anderson through a difficult time. Kelsey Anderson, the winner of Bachelor Season 28, is coping with negative comments about her relationship with fiancé Joey Grazia Day. Joan Vassos, the Golden Bachelorette, gave her support. Continue reading to see Joan's words of advice for the young couple. Joey Grazia Day is one of the celebrities competing in season 33 of Dancing with the Stars. Before the new season began, rumors circulated regarding him and his professional partner, Jenna Johnson. Joey's engagement, Kelsey Anderson, is constantly bombarded with social media comments speculating about Joey's devotion or warning her to keep an eye out for Jenna. She ultimately addressed the problem in a TikTok video, which she also posted on Instagram. She started the video with a frequent response from social media users. So many people are like, Kelsey, why is Jenna touching your man like that? Honestly, I don't know, she replied, adding, maybe because it's her job. Kelsey went on to take her followers on a nostalgic journey. She inquired, do y'all remember how Joey and I met? The most recent runway model reminded everyone that Joey was dating several other women at the same time, but she won the Super Bowl ring. Kelsey stated that she needed a certain level of security to get through watching her now fiancé with other women while filming the ABC dating show. Kelsey Anderson informed fans that her relationship with Joey Grazia Day remained solid after a year together. She claimed that if she made it through The Bachelor, she may see him dancing with another lady. She made a point of mentioning that Jenna Johnson is married and has a cute newborn boy. Jenna married fellow DWTS pro Val Schwarkowski in 2019 and welcomed their son, Rome, last year. Kelsey Anderson's Instagram post drew a lot of support from fans who know she is happy in her relationship with Joey Grazia Day. Joan Vassos, the current Golden Bachelorette, wrote a message encouraging Kelsey to disregard the critics. Don't even listen to those people and let them doubt your love and question yours and Joey's commitment to each other, she pleaded. Joan said, this is a show, and you are real life. Enjoy this insane adventure with him and feel only delight. Kelsey Anderson invited fans to watch her fiancé on the upcoming episode of Dancing with the Stars on Tuesday, September 24. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos reveals why Keith got the first rose. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos is talking out about why she opted to give Keith Gordon her first impression rose. There's little doubt she had a lot of good men to select from. So why did she chose him over everyone else? Continue reading to see what Joan had to say. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos is a lucky lady. She has a lot of attractive males to pick from. Of course, Bachelor fans understand that the first impression rose can only go to one lucky man. Fans witnessed Joan present her first impression rose to Keith Gordon. They even exchanged a kiss. So why did she chose him over everyone else? She spoke with Bachelor Nation and gave them the scoop. Overall, Joan stated that she chose Keith based on how he made her feel. She went on to add that Keith's entrance was excellent. He arrived in an old station wagon with bags on top. However, it was not the entry that piqued her interest, though it did bring back memories of her own childhood. Joan recalled sitting with Keith on the hood of the automobile and conversing. She was at ease at the time, and the discussion flowed smoothly. She said, I remember when our time was up and it was time for the next car to arrive. He said, let's just get out of here. Let's get some wine and cheese and sit on a blanket on the beach. And I was like, ah, that's precisely what I want to accomplish. That would feel great right now. Joan went on to remark, and then I got to chat to him inside and just kept feeling comfortable and safe, and he's just like this giant teddy bear sort of person. So it was much more about how I felt while I was with him than his amazing entrance. I gave him a rose since he made me feel safe and comfortable. Joan Vassos enjoyed Keith Gordon, and it appears that many other viewers do as well. Keith is 62 years old and from San Jose, California. He is a girl dad who is looking for someone to spend his life with. 
The Bachelorette, Jen Tran, calls out ex Devin Strader for following Maria Jorgas on Instagram after their breakup. Jen Tran of The Bachelorette chastised her ex Devin Strader for his social media activity after they canceled their engagement. Tran and Strader discussed the breakdown of their relationship on the season 21 finale of The Bachelorette, which aired on September 3. Their fight occurred on the After the Final Rose special, two months after Tran proposed to Strader in Hawaii where she got down on one knee and gave him a ring. Before the proposal was presented, Tran told host Jesse Palmer that Strader had terminated their engagement over the phone. She was later joined by Strader, leading to an emotional conversation in which Tran called him out for following a cherished member of Bachelor Nation, Maria Jorgas, who was her former castmate on Joey Grazia Day's season of The Bachelor, on social media. What I can't understand is everything that you did after we've broken our engagement, she told me. We ended the engagement over the phone, and the next day I woke up to you following girls on Instagram, not just any girl, but Maria. Not only is that disrespectful to what we've shared together, but I don't comprehend it. Why would you do anything like that? Tran went on, because that utterly invalidated our entire connection, everything I felt for you, everything we felt for one other. Did that mean anything to you? While Strader was saying that it was hard to put into words how he was feeling, Tran interrupted him and said, It was so hard that you followed Maria on Instagram? Strader then admitted that he couldn't excuse the Instagram follow, so Tran questioned whether he'd done this to be cruel. While he said he didn't follow Jorgas, who turned down the opportunity to be the bachelorette herself, to be rude to Tran, he did admit that he damaged her during the relationship. Obviously, I failed you, he admitted. And that's all I can say. But what I felt for you was genuine. Tran continued to criticize Strader for his behavior following the separation, stating that she witnessed him clubbing with one of his former castmates on the show, Jeremy Simon. Because you said, oh, I was having such a hard time with this breakup, she said to him. Next thing I know, you're in New York, clubbing with Jeremy. You stated, oh, I need time and space to process my emotions. This makes me sad. Later in the episode, the pair watched their initial proposal in Hawaii, which Tran said she thought was the happiest day of her life. She then acknowledged that she was proud of the woman she was during the show and that proposal. I do not regret proposing to the man on there, but what happened was, that man doesn't exist anymore. And the truth of the matter is, I'm still that same woman I am. The woman that stood there was ready to fight for love, was ready to give everything to a person, was ready to start a family, she said. At this point, I do know what I deserve, and I know that that man, somebody else will be that man for me. I can find that person who will fulfill all the promises he made me, instead of leaving me with nothing.